I, I feel incredibly honored to, to, to serve as a board chair and, and really take the service part of it very seriously. We've got a significant member, of, a member we've got a significant number of the board members here. Um, uh, Hannah, Hannah is here, Rob is here, uh, Shingo, Takushi-san, uh, Takushi uh, Melanie. Um, if you, you know, it, please take the time to approach us because one, one of our missions for being here is to figure out how to put structures and, uh, and encouragements and frameworks in place to, be, to, to help this community grow in every way possible. So please help us do that uh, by engaging with us, with your ideas, uh, your energy, um, encouragement, um, you know, challenges, kick us in the shins where we're not doing it right. Um, we, want, we want to continue to make this community thrive in every way possible. So please engage us uh, to do that. Uh, we've, got, you know, we've got some time uh, this evening, which will be a lot of fun, to do it over some drinks. So bring us those ideas. One of the ideas um, that has clearly um, come into real clarity for me over the past couple of days is the power of our ability to get together and actually collaborate and talk and build the relationships we have the technical expertise. We have the representation of uh, the business community with the ideas. But we, we, I think, very frequently are heads down in the individual projects. Right? We're, we're so focused on the, the, the specific set of code and the specific objectives of, of specific projects. And we're at that stage now where actually it's the patterns combining projects that is becoming super powerful. And so I saw a lot of it start to happen. Um, you know, I'll just pick on one example, you know, the, the Firefly team and the Cactus team, I'm starting to see kind of the, oh, we should be talking together about how do, how, you know, how do these things you know, work together and, and then fit with the different ledgers. So I, we want to find ways to, to do more of that. And maybe that means we, we get creative about more in-person meetings. I think that personal connection is super important. Um, but, a, but a little bit of a call to arms is, you know, please raise, you know, continue the fantastic work on, on the individual projects, but, but kind of raise up a little bit too. And let's think through the, the combinations of projects and the power of that. Um, because if I, it, that leads me into my next point. Hyperledger, I think this community has an incredibly important and advantaged position in the wider dynamic of what's happening. So in the wider dynamic, um, you know, if, if I, if I gross, <laughs> grossly generalize it, um, I think we, we, so we've got an incredibly vibrant, active, layer one community, you know, very much you know, everything from individual entrepreneurs and, and startups that, that have formed that are putting energy into their individual ledgers and, and those communities. At, maybe in, you know, in, in, at the other end of the spectrum, we have very established, long-standing enterprises with an innovation focus who are trying to think through how to apply this technology. And um, what naturally, of course, is going to occur is the meeting in the middle, right? How much can core, you know, core enterprise you know, move off of you know, the, the deep, deep grounding of the, you know, the, the long-standing established control mechanisms, the governance, risk, compliance, audit, control, all the expectations of a of what a giant enterprise has to deliver. Um, and, and of course, the, you know, the startup community and the individual entrepreneurs you know, in this, in this side of the space, they want to grow up to, be, you know, to have their, their services, products, and capabilities have mass adoption. And mass adoption comes with it all of a lot of the insights that, that this community lives every day of you know, when by the time it gets to my mom and dad, right, they're gonna, they need a call center. <laughs> they need somebody to call and to talk to and the like. And so there's a natural meeting in the middle. Um, in the dynamics of our particular community, um, how, you know, I, I, I'll put it to a vote, how many people think there's gonna be one ledger to rule them all? Right. <laughs> So, so in that context, you know, the ability to encourage all of the, 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 you know, the layer one, the startups, the entrepreneurs to, to, do, to build incredible products you know, and, and, you know, and the like, and for the enterprises to be able to do the same, if we're all agreed that there's not going to be one ledger to rule them all, we, the, the most important part of this to me is where's the community that gets together to think about the hybrid solutions and how it all works together and the combinations. That is this group, right? We are the only group that is welcoming, open, and has actually started those dialogues of how do you traverse the incredible innovation that's coming from this side and the credible knowledge that's coming from this side as to how to actually build you know, safe, effective, lovable systems at scale. 
And so, you know, I think we need to rally around that um, even more. I, I'm open to all ideas as to how, how the board, we as the board can help encourage that. But I think we have a super privileged, advantaged, maybe even responsible position to occupy this middle space and bridge the two and get everyone to the middle and get us to the most productive, valuable, lovable solutions as quickly as we can. So join me in that. I, you know, we want all ideas as to how to do that. I think we need to be, um, we need to take max advantage of that privileged position. Um, the, last thing I, the last thing I want to do is um, this, this community also, we should all be very proud of the action-oriented nature of it, right? This is a, commu this is a community about, that is about hands-on code. It's about getting projects you know, advanced into the next stage. It's very action-oriented. Um, sometimes, though, I, you know, I find, and, uh, and I'm, I'm very privileged in the role that I play, you know, balancing action, being actionable, and being visionary you know, again, in the spirit of let's think about the combinations and raising it up a level, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to end here with just a little bit of the, my view on the visionary piece of how proud this community should be about the, the, the role that we're playing in building the next version of our digital world. We should be incredibly proud. I think that we're going to look back in, we can argue the number of years, five years, ten years, ten years certainly, we're going to look back and say the fundamental notion of our, our, our enterprise, corporate enterprise or business or services world being predicated upon redundant siloed data, behind firewalls, message-based architecture, you know, all of the challenges that we, we face around how our data is proliferated everywhere, we have no control, we lost privacy, we lost security, right? We're gonna look back on our current digital world and laugh at it, I think. <laughs> We're gonna chuckle, um, certainly when I, when, I try, when I describe to my kids how things work today, their first question is, why? That sounds really dumb. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Um, and we're gonna look back and we're gonna be super, and, and we have this ability of, this is the community that is fundamentally changing our systems of record to be able to, as the previous panel highlighted so beautifully, right, our ability to carry our identity, money, and objects from place to place to place with privacy and control and, the, and, and the, you know, the reframing of the relationship of what a winning digital business is, moving from one that has positioned itself to harvest our data off of a network, buy as much of it as they can, run machine learning and AI, and then high five each other if we get a 4% hit rate on an advertising campaign and all of the data loss and privacy issues that go along with that, to one where we're building a world where the, most, the winning digital business, I think, should be the one that earns the most trusted access, or earns the trust to have the direct access to the self-managed credentials of our identity, money, and objects that we're all carrying around with us. And that is wildly powerful, not just for what it can create from an end user experience, but the business model change that will come from that. Right? The cookie wars are, are, have started. This is the fundamental retort for it. Um, and then let alone you know, the other, the other you know, part of our facet of our shared data infrastructure and breaking that message-based business model, we are creating the, the multi-party system, deeply collaborative, collaborative self-managed digital world that's gonna you know, fundamentally change everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna now pair that with you know, part of my, my, new, my new title at Accenture. We have this wonderful pairing now of the, emer the, the, you know, the what has been a long-standing progression of immersive technologies so we have deeply collaborative systems of record that we've been working on for a while, and now we have deeply collaborative systems of engagement. And that ability to basically say, we're gonna move from a world where today, the digital world, when, I, when, when any of us log on to the internet, we open up an application, it's being served up to us individually from source code for us. It's deeply isolating, right? And then we're gonna message back and forth to get everything done. The, uh, the, the hardware that has emerged for, you know, with virtual reality and augmented reality, now we have the pairing of a deeply collaborative, multi-party system of engagement. The ability to enter a virtual environment that's very much like this physical room. You can have side conversations, you can, have, you, know, you can meet, you can have plenary, you can have individual conversations, you can have a persistent place. That persistent place is somewhere where you're gonna wanna be able to bring your own identity, money, and objects. You're going to want to be able to, um, you know, you know, to port them from place to place to place, requiring interoperability between ledgers. <laughs> and so I think we have this wonderful pairing now of our very collaborative multi-party systems of record pairing with 
the multi-party collaborative systems of en engagement, and that is a much more, I think, rich, valuable, lovable platform for our digital world, and it's gonna solve a ton of problems, and I'm super excited to be part of it, and, and very excited that this, this community is driving, you know, I would say is driving the foundation of it. So we should all be super proud of that. I, you know, I'm, I, will, I will stop there, um, and, uh, and we get to pivot now to, to really have some fun, uh, and, uh, and thank everyone. I, sorry, I, dude, there's one more thing I wanted to do. Sorry, Danielle. Um, is Ro Rob, are you here? Okay, Rob, Rob's having to, he's had a couple of um, competing priorities. So uh, he'll watch this later. <laughs> um, Rob Polotnik served, uh, was my predecessor as board chair, served his entire term in COVID. <laughs> And, um, and did just a, such a marvelous job um, at leading our community in a remote context. And I feel very advantaged to be able to be here and, and talking with you. Um, but I do want to express my deep gratitude for Rob's leadership in what was you know, an incredibly difficult time. And we have come out stronger uh, as a group for it. So Rob, when you're watching this, thank you so much for, for, for your leadership and contribution. And of course, the rest of the board um, who together has just done, um, I think, a great job. We can do better. Please help us do better. Give us the feedback. Sorry, now I'll stop. All right. <laughs>